This is Pep Guardiola and Mikel Arteta. They're the best manager duo in the world. And this is us. We just play career mode in our bedroom. But today, we begin our journey towards becoming the world's best managers. Since our reputation as managers is at its lowest, the only job offers we have are from Salford City and Bruh. Harrogate Town. It's now time for me to discuss with my assistant manager which club we should join. Edgar, my bro, we finally got job offers and we're going to start our management journey. But the offers are from Salford or Harrogate Town. So what do you think we should go with? I think it's a very simple decision, Sid. Salford City has links to Manchester United, which could give us some big offers in the future. I say we go for that. Yeah, 100%. Let's do it. Salford City it is. And so our football management journey begins at Salford City. Our first task as Salford City managers are to decide what do we do with this team? Yo, Edgar, this, this team is bad. I, I don't know what we're going to do. Our job is to get promoted. But look at these players, man. They're horrendous. Yeah, man, I completely agree with you. I think our goalkeeper is looking like a fraud. I think we should replace him. Bro, I also think, like, we could do well with another striker because look at this man. He's got 34 pace, bro. How are we going to score with him? He can't run. My nan's faster than that, bro. But the issue is all we've got is 3 million to improve this team. And the board expect us to get direct promotion in the first season itself. With 3 million in the bank, we can only sign a couple of players. So I decided to go after the striker position. And I sent my assistant manager, Edgar, to bring us a goalkeeper that can get us promotion. And so I signed a 17-year-old striker with a lot of potential, Evan Ferguson from Brighton, for 500,000. I'm sure this kid is going to score a lot of goals for us. Now, let's see if Edgar managed to get our team the goalkeeper we need. After spending hours trying to find the perfect goalkeeper for our team, I've decided to go ahead and go for Miguel Moro from Rio Veracano for 1 million pounds. All these transfer negotiations took quite a while and we're now nearing the first game of our season. We've now added our brand new signings to the team and it's time for us to make our managerial debut. We were definitely nervous for our managerial debut, but we had our captain who helped calm the nerves. Go on. Ferguson. Ferguson. Out wide. Open oh. Up wide. Can we back in the box? Oh, it's a good... Oh, Please. that... Ethan. Ethan. Oh, it went oh. in. <laughs> Ethan, the captain. He scored. The captain. Ethan. Let's go. Our first goal as managers, bro. It's, it's so insane. fitting that it's our captain that scores the first I goal. Know. Let's go. Oh, it's great. What a brilliant start to our career, bro. But I quickly found out who the fraud in this team was. Bailey. Go on, Bailey. Oh, Bailey. Good. Give me the ball. Go on. Oh, Bailey, pass. Bro, he's... Oh, What's he doing? Bailey. What are you doing, man? Give it to Bailey. Bailey, take a touch. Come on, control this. Bailey. Bailey. Oh, oh come on, Bailey. Bailey. Come on, man. That's the second one today. Bro, I think we got to put him on fraud watch right now. Go Mine's on, Bailey. Bailey. Go on, oh, Bailey. 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 Cross it in, Bailey. Let's see oh, what so Bailey, Bailey can do. Okay, what is shot. that? Oh, that's, that's a terrible shot, Bailey. Come on, man. Things got even worse for Bailey. Bro, Bailey, <laughs> you've got an injured as well. What is Meta what? Fraud. Bro, he's he put in literally a, a, a two on ten performance and now he's going to be in the hospital. Him. Bro, can we like not pay his wages? Because we, we need to save money. <laughs> Bro, we don't even have a winger on the bench. What are we going to do? We're going to have to solve this after the game, man. Without our winger, towards the end we did struggle. But new signing Evan Ferguson showed what he's all about. Ethan, into Ferguson. Ferguson. There he goes. Come on, Ferguson. Come on, Ferguson. Come on, Ferguson. Come on, come go on. Ferguson. Finish it up, Ferguson. Let's Finish go. Oh, 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 what is he done? Come on, oh, on. Ferguson. You signed him. 500,000 for a striker that can finish like that. Bro, that is unreal. But just as we were celebrating our first ever win, we've got some terrible news. Edgar, look at this. Like, he's out for seven months. Even if this man dropped a 2.0 rating, I still feel bad for the man. Seven months, he's going to be out for a very long time. The problem now is, like, we need a new winger and we've got only 750,000 to spend. Like, I don't think we can get a good winger in that budget and we've already made a couple of signings. Wage bill is adding up. Remember, we're in EFL League 2. We we don't have unlimited money. Edgar, remember that scouting project I sent you on? H have you been able to find someone? There is this one special talent we do have by the name of Diego Gonzalez, but I don't know if he's ready. I don't know, man. I'm just looking at him right now in training and everything, and he looks good. He's 5'7", right winger, left-footed. He's got Diego in his name. He's Argentinian. I think this is it. We might have found the next Messi. You know what, Sid? I may have my doubts, but I'm going to go ahead and trust you with this decision. All right, man. I'm promoting him to the senior team. With Diego being Argentine, there's only one kit number we're giving him, although we're gonna take it away from Bailey, which I don't really care because Bailey's a bit of a fraud. It is now time for us to see if Diego Gonzalez can compete at this level. Ferguson, through ball to Diego Gonzalez. This is Diego it, this is, is it. Diego. Oh, what a finish! Diego Gonzalez! 
Gonzalez, what a finish. Reminded me a bit of Diego Maradona. Now I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> this this is EFL League 2. You thought he was done with one goal? This man is unstoppable. Diego, Diego. Vamos, Diego. Another one. Diego. Oh, it's super. This kid is unreal. Edgar, I told you. I told you. We trust in Diego and we'll be fine. I should have never doubted you. He actually might be the next Messi. Drupal to Diego. It's Diego Gonzalez. Cuts his side. It's still Diego. Go on. Diego. It's yours. Finish Diego. Diego. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> Vamos, Diego. Diego. Vamos, Diego. Diego. Go on. Diego. That's this is you, what he does. You, this is what he does. Diego. Gonzalez. This is what he does. Come on. <laughs> Diego. Ferguson, your chance. Ferguson, oh, let's go. Go on, Diego. Oh, Diego, what a player. Bro, he's so good. As we got through the season, Diego and Evan Ferguson were forming a lethal partnership. We're now halfway through the season and doing pretty well second in the league. And the players carrying the team, Evan Ferguson and Diego Gonzalez, have been scoring goals for fun. All right, Edgar, we're like second in the league right now. I, th I think we should be able to win it, man. We've got Diego. Who else do we need? But do you think, like, we need to maybe invest a bit in the squad, get a few more players in, and see what we can do? I'm gonna be honest, man. I think the squad is good enough to promote us to League One. I don't think we need to make any signings. Plus, we don't even have money to spend on players. I mean, we could get a midfielder for 750, but uh, you're kind of right. Let let's not change the dynamics. I'm gonna stick with your call on this one. And looks like my assistant manager, Edgar, was right. Our form continued. Not only did the good continue but my signing Miguel Moro started to shine still we can we can make a tackle no. Wilkinson. he misses the tackle oh what a save. save Miguel Moro oh no oh no Moro again let's go Moro again bro he's so good at reading the situation it's now time for our final game of the season if we can win this we'll not only get promoted but we'll also win the title oh what a touch what a touch early in the game Diego releasing it Ferguson with a shot and let's go the duo once again scoring a goal making a run Evan Ferguson this is his moment to win the title for Salford and he gets the goal. The goal to win us our first trophy. How do you feel, Edgar? We're on the verge of winning a trophy. I gotta say, Sid, you made a brilliant signing to Evan Ferguson because he's been amazing so far this season. Yeah, man, let's go. It's done. We've won our first ever trophy as a manager duo. We've gotten Salford City promoted to the next division. But what's next in our journey to becoming the world's best managers? After securing promotion with Salford City, we're now in Season 2 and our goal is to get this team to the Championship. But it looks like the Salford board are pretty happy with the way things are because they're only funding us with 5 million as our budget. I really don't think 5 million is enough to convert this team into a Championship level club. What do you think, Edgar? Yeah, man, I totally agree. With Diego Gonzalez carrying the side and Bailey being an absolute fraud, I think there's no way we're going to promote to the Championship. But it's really funny you say that because I was just checking through the emails and we actually do have a couple offers given to us okay job offers with, with which clubs are they from we do have an offer from crystal palace and as well as brentford what do you think about that yo we're going to the premier league and go we're big time now let's no, go no, no. <laughs> sit 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 they uh they're relegated to the championship what bro i mean well it is the championship it's better than the league one i, I think we should take it no yeah it's better than having five million in bailey in the side fair enough so we have two job offers crystal palace or brentford both clubs in the championship now i've got to make a decision along with edgar to decide where we're going next so after doing a bit of research crystal palace do have wilfred zaha and i think we both think coaching a player like him will be great for our careers as well so let, let's choose crystal palace as our next destination and so we've signed the contract with crystal palace and here we are at our new club but just as we were heading into the training ground meeting the squad and everything we realized a certain someone was missing and that was wilfred zaha the player that was so excited to coach edgar was already ready to give him instructions in the attack and everything but he's ended up leaving the club because he does not want anything to do with the championship bro edgar look at this zaha actually chose Fenerbahce over being coached by us th th this is this is a new law for us man he yeah i, I, I don't believe this imagine me personally i would never go to a club like front they're absolute garbage. crystal palace are clear as managers of crystal palace it's now time to take a look at our team and already i'm, I'm disappointed we don't have wilfred zaha what do you think edgar we're gonna find it really tough to cope without him it's going to be very tough with the best player in crystal palace's history in my opinion but 
I think we could go ahead and replace him and maybe sign a new striker because Mateta doesn't really fit our play style. I'm also thinking we could do with a right back. So I think striker, right back, and a Zaha replacement, and we, we should be good to go. And because of Wilfred Zaha's player sale, we do have a lot of money to spend, which is going to help us get Crystal Palace back to the Premier League. And so for 20 million, we make our first signing from Manchester United. It's one Bissaka. I think his former boss that Crystal Palace convinced him to join us again and help us get back to the Premier League. It was now time to find a replacement for Wilfred Zaha, but these are not easy boots to fill. He's probably the greatest player in Palace's history. For this position, I want to bring in a player I trust, a player I've coached before, and a player I know who can deliver. And that is Diego Gonzalez. Everybody saw what he achieved last season for us, scoring goals like Leo Messi. He is the next Messi. So for 9 million, I've signed Diego Gonzalez to Crystal Palace. With the signings of Diego Gonzalez and Juan Bissaka, the right side of our attack is looking good. The rest of the team is looking pretty strong with the likes of Kuehi, Fofana, or Lise as well. But we're still looking for a striker and I've sent Edgar on a mission to bring us a new striker. So similar to Sid, I went for a player who I used to coach. However, it was in the unprofessional leagues as we bring on Santiago Jimenez for 26.5 million to play up top. With all our signings made, our team is now ready to fight in the championship and we're gunning for promotion again. It's now time for Edgar and myself to make our debut in the championship. Go on, Diego. Diego go on. It's Santiago Jimenez. Oh, with simple tap let's, oh, let's go. Hey, let's go. Diego and Santiago linking up well there. Diego Gonzalez. So Diego. So oh, Diego. Lovely. So Diego. Lovely oh, stuff. Diego. Diego Gonzalez. Oh, Diego, Diego Lasso. Diego. Let's go. He was in the league two last season. Now playing in the championship and already scoring goals. What a legend. Oh, Wan Bissaka. Oh, oh brilliant. Wan Bissaka. Oh, Good defending. Let's go. We get our first win as managers in the championship. What are we saying, Edgar? You think we're going to get promotion? This team looks good. We're playing some beautiful liquid football. And Diego and Santiago are looking very good together. So let's hope. Little did we know that a new partnership was about to unfold. Santiago Jimenez is running inside. Olise gives it Olise. into Santiago. Jimenez. Santiago, finish it again. Oh, he gets the goal. He misses let's the first go. chance, but he gets the second one. Diego, Diego Gonzalez. Diego. Diego. Finish go, go, it, Diego. Go, 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 go. Oh, right, get the goal. Oh, oh deflection. But it goes <laughs> You were lucky there, Edgar. We take all those goals. We take all of those, bro. Through ball into Santiago. 1v1 one one against the goalkeeper. Santi, Santi. Gives it back Come into on. Diego. Oh, Diego oh, oh that is goal. unreal, Edgar. That's unreal. Diego reaping the benefits. This this strike partnership is unreal. With Diego Gonzalez and Jimenez performing, we were now second in the championship halfway through the season. Sadly, it was Brentford above us, the team we could have joined. Edgar, do you have anything to say? Maybe we made the wrong choice. No, man. I think we did make the right decision. We just have to go ahead and finish the rest of the season and prove our points. We're now in January and it's time to potentially improve our team so we can push for the title. We do have 14 million to spend and I think it's obvious where we need to invest in. It's pretty obvious looking at our lineup that Guaita is the obvious weak spot. I think we need to sign another goalkeeper. Do you have anyone in mind we could go for? Well, back at Southward, we did sign Miguel Moro, who was a success. Oh no. Oh no. Moro again. Let's go. Maybe we can bring him in and he can replicate the success that Diego Gonzalez has been doing this season. All right, then I'll put you in charge of bringing Miguel Moro. Just, just don't spend more than necessary. So we have gone ahead and brought in Miguel Moro for 9.3 million plus Sam Johnstone. I think that's a huge W signing. Yup, and Miguel Moro goes right into the team. Meanwhile, instead of signing players, we also had to focus on keeping players as offers were coming left, right, and center for Diego Gonzalez. 27 million this one. And Diego is Argentine. He's desperate to play for a club like River Plate. So he comes in to me with a message saying that he's interested in the River Plate move and he wants to leave. Well, I basically tell him that mid-season, we can't be having this. I need you for promotion. And next season, if we do get promoted, we'll let you leave wherever you want. I also told him that if he completes a full season here, the offers could be bigger for him. And so with Moro coming in, that's it. Our squad's ready and let's take your promotion. And I'm so glad we convinced Diego Gonzalez to stay because his form in the second half of the season was unbelievable. Diego, Diego, Diego. 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 has to be Diego. a goal. Oh, oh, good finish. Good finish. Good finish. Oh. Oh, oh Diego Gonzalez. That That's was class. Really beautiful. Ruba to Diego Gonzalez. Go on. Have a first time finish, Diego, with a shot. Oh, and it goes oh, in. What a beautiful goal. Bro, how did he get that in? What a finish. Diego. Diego. 
Diego. Oh, it's Whoa. beautiful. It's beautiful from Diego Gonzalez. A goal to put us in a great spot for promotion. Come on. We're now 44 games into the season and we're three points off Brentford. And so our season with Palace comes down to this. If we can beat the league leaders Brentford, there's a good chance we get promoted and take home the title. Is it? True ball. It's a oh, Diego. it's a good ball for First Diego. Sentence, please. Diego, Diego let's Gonzalez, go. what did the keeper do? I know. It's so we'll cool. take that. The goalkeeper just stood there. With us now being in the lead, we needed our keeper to deliver. And that's exactly why we brought in Moro. Misa. No, they've got oh, a chance. Moro, really what, what a save. Let's go. Oh, Miguel Moro. Oh, another oh. save, Moro. What a keeper. Legend. But even the great Moro couldn't stop us from conceding. Bro. Bro. Oh. That is so bad. Edgar, I blame you for that. What was that? <laughs> no, I misclicked. I misclicked. Just as the title was going away from us, we had one man step up and deliver. Santiago, through ball. It's a Diego Gonzalez. Go on. Please, what is the game? Diego Gonzalez. You have the to Let's go. Oh, come Who on, else? Edgar. But Diego Gonzalez to save us from my mistakes. Let's go. And with Diego Gonzalez and Moro delivering, we have secured promotion for Crystal Palace. Up we go to the Premier League. Our journey towards becoming the world's best manager duo continues. We're now in the Premier League with Crystal Palace. And both me and Edgar are super excited for this project to try and take Crystal Palace to the next level. But it looks like the Palace board aren't interested in any of that they're giving us only 20 million as our budget for the season and to make it worse they sold diego gonzalez to barcelona this is unbelievable without even our consent it was now time to have a chat with my assistant manager to figure things out yo edgar they literally sold diego gonzalez and we didn't even get like an email or anything about it what do we do now i don't know bro crystal palace have lost the plot however i was diving into our emails and we did get a transfer offer however this one is a tough one Ooh, where do you think we'll be heading? Where's the offer from? So we have gotten an offer from La Liga and Valencia. However, they did finish in 12th place, but I think we're ready for that type of challenge. Yeah, that'll be top flight in Spain competing against Barcelona and Real Madrid. Sign me up. The differences between the Palace board's ambitions and our ambitions as managers was clearly too big. And that's why we decided to jump ship and join Valencia in Spain. So we're now in Spain. Time for our Valencia job. And our first job as managers here is to assess the squad we've got. Oh my god, we've got Mudrick here. What are we saying, Edgar? This this team is looking good. I think our team is looking relatively solid. Not only do we have Mudrick, but the likes of Noah Lang and Mohamed Salisu have a lot of potential. Yeah, and the keeper here is decent. And don't forget, Harvey Elliott is at Valencia. We've got a team. And it also looks like we've got a board that's willing to back us. They're giving us 70 million to spend to bring Valencia back as one of the front runners in La Liga. Alright, Edgar, I think it's time we start spending some money and bring in a player. What do you think we need in this team? I I think the main issue I see with this team is a lack of leadership and I think there's one player that we have to bring back to the club in Jose Gaia. He also fits the bill for that left back position which is looking very weak. And so we signed Jose Gaia from Manchester United. It was expensive. We had to pay 35 million for it and we immediately make him our captain. With Jose Gaia, the defense is looking good but I feel like we're lacking something in the attack. I'm not a big fan of Hugo Duro. He looks okay but there's a certain striker I think that could really act to this team. What we're saying Edgar about Evan Ferguson. Remember him from our Salford days? He helped us out so much. There he goes. Go on, Ferguson. Come on. Let's go. Oh, what a finish. Come on, Ferguson. And now he looks like a really well-established player. I mean, we did sign him when he was young and it's now been about three years. I think it's the perfect time to bring him back into this fold as we can trust him. And so we bring back a legend from Salford, Evan Ferguson, for about 25 million. It was now time as managers for the first time ever managing a top flight club. We're making our La Liga debut with Valencia. This was also Evan Ferguson's first time playing in a top level league and there were many who doubted him but he shut them all up oh Modric that is unreal gonna play it inside Ferguson Even oh Ferguson. what a finish Evan Ferguson straight from Salford City out here scoring for Valencia I told you we have an eye for talent this kid was born to score at this stage Harvey Elliott through ball Ferguson come on 
Oh, he's unreal. What a touch. And with the heroics from Evan Ferguson, we managed to get our first win in La Liga. With a couple of wins under our belt now, the team was showing potential, but with just one hour left on deadline day, our goalkeeper abandoned us for Bournemouth. I can't believe this. This is a betrayal, bro. I don't even get this. What we're saying, Edgar, if he would have joined like Barcelona or something, I would understand. But Bournemouth... I think our goalkeeper has taken a huge L here. He didn't even give us a chance to show us what type of manager we are, but we're going to have to wait till January. Hopefully, our backup goalkeeper isn't too bad. And talking about our backup keeper, he's horrendous. What is this guy doing here? Yeah, he's, he's, he's terrible. But we have no choice. We're going to have to make this work and survive in La Liga with a keeper that clearly isn't at the level. Oh, they've opened this up. They've opened this up and our keeper, literally, my man just flung a hand. What was he doing? Oh my god, this is going to be a nightmare. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Mason Mount scores. Our keeper, once again, nowhere to be found. Here come Real Madrid once again. Mason Mount gives it to Kareem Benzema with a shot and this goalkeeper, man. He's an absolute fraud. How is he a professional footballer? Two goals to Real Madrid. This is not going to be a good first half of the season. And we're now halfway through the season and with our goalkeeper stinking up the pitch, look at that. We're seventh in La Liga with basically no hope for top four. Look at the amount of goals we conceded. We've got a negative goal difference. The only hope we've got of keeping our Valencia job and being successful here is going on a cup run. Before that, we need to sign a new goal Keeper. So after all our scouting projects, we've settled on two players that we're looking at. One is Bono, the Moroccan goalkeeper, and the other one is Miguel Mora, a player we know really well. But me and Edgar can't really seem to come to a conclusion on which player to sign. It got pretty heated. Edgar, I feel like we need to sign Bono. He did so well at the World Cup. If he can translate that here, we could end up going on a big cup run. I do agree with you that he's a good goalkeeper, but we do have Miguel Moro as an option. Why fix something that hasn't been broken? We've sent Miguel Moro countless of times and he's done well. But Miguel Moro doesn't have the experience in the top flight. I don't know, Sid. I think you're completely wrong about this. I think Miguel Moro is the only option. And if we don't sign him, I think things will go even worse for us. You know what? As the manager, I think I've got to make a gut decision here. So I think we're going to go with Bono. Man, I really don't like his decision in signing Bono. I think Miguel Moro is the perfect replacement. But he's the manager. I'm going to have to go ahead and listen to him. And so after overruling my assistant manager, I decided to go for Bono. 12 million. I hope this deal works. With Bono coming in, I'm very excited for our chances in the Spanish Cup and our journey begins now. And clearly with the signing of Bono, there was a massive difference and that's what you need in cup games. Wow, oh, what, a, what save. a save from Bono. No. Bono, what a save! Strong hands from him. Oh, Ferguson, that turn. Fake shot. Oh, 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 Ewan Ferguson, what a goal. We take the lead against Sevilla, come on. That was absolutely disgusting, bro. Oh, Gaia, we got super lucky there. Let's go. We need a bit of luck against the team like Atletico Madrid. Jose Gaia, the captain we signed, assisting Evan Ferguson. Let's go. Ferguson, oh, he's got the angle. Oh, what a finish. A rocket into the back of the net. The goal to send us to the final of the Spanish Cup. Evan Ferguson, with this ridiculous form, had fired us into a cup final. How are we feeling, Edgar? This is it. Our chance to win a major trophy for the first time ever. I know, and this is also our first final. I'm really looking forward to it. I think our team is ready. The stage was set. This was our chance as managers to show that we belong with the very best. Guy, oh, I'm Evan Ferguson. Go on. Go on. Oh, what a finish from Evan Ferguson. Made that look so easy. It's still Mudrick. He has a space. It's still Mudrick. 1v1 against the goalkeeper. Can he oh. score a solo goal? Yes, he does. In this final, he does it when it matters. Joe was past like five opponents, and we have surely won this game. We did it, Edgar. We've won our first ever trophy. Come on. And this is just the start of becoming the best managers in the world. We're now into our fourth season of this journey. Winning the Spanish Cup, though, has brought a lot of attention to us from the media. And that's led to receiving a major offer from a Premier League club. Yo, Edgar, take a look at this. I've got a job offer right now from Manchester United. Are you kidding me? Wow, man, that's absolutely unbelievable. But guess what? I think we have just gotten an even better offer in Man City. Just take a look at this. Wow, we've now got a choice to make, bro. I reckon we got to go Man United. It's a club with a rich history. I think that's the place to be. No. 
Well, I don't think so, Sid. Man City are clearly the better team in this day and age, and they have a lot more money. I think we can easily become the best managers at Man City. Nah, bro, City just doesn't feel right. We're going to Man United. Man, City's undermining me again. Man City are clearly the better team, but he decided to go to Man United. I don't know if this is the best opportunity for us. And so we've arrived at Manchester United, by far our biggest and toughest job yet. It's going to be the first time we'll be coaching players like Marcus Rashford, Anthony Musiala, the quality with which we'll be dealing with. Simply sensational. What are we saying, Edgar? What do you think about this team? I mean, I do agree with you. There are a couple weak spots, but I feel like if you were to join Man City, there would have been no weak spots to work with. Come on, man. You, you can't be saying that. We've got Marcus Rashford. You were saying we're not going to have any money to spend. Look at that. 300 million. Yeah, man. I can see we have a lot of money. However, at Man City, not only will we have better players, but we would have had at least double the money. Anyways, let's focus on improving the team. I think it's so obvious the weak spots in this team. We need more defenders, like a couple of centre-backs at least, probably a right-back as well. Yo, Edgar, what do you think about Jules Conde? I think he'd fit perfectly into our team. I 100% agree with you. I think Jules Conde playing in that centre-back position will stop us from conceding goals. And so for the first time, we get to bring out the checkbook and sign a player like Jules Conde. We spend over 100 million on this. Yo, Edgar, do you really trust Inacio at the back? I feel like we could really do with, with, with a better centre-back in there. It's very interesting that you say that, Sid. I was thinking since we have just brought in Jules Kunde, we could bring in someone like Ronaldo Araujo who has played with Jules Kunde before. Not bad. I like the suggestion of Araujo, but I feel like I want someone who's got the passion for Man United. And so instead of taking Edgar's advice, I decided to go for the biggest passion merchant out there, Lisandro Martinez, bringing him back to Man United. I had to spend 80 million though for this. Man, I have no idea what Sid is doing. First of all, Ronaldo Araujo is far clear of Lisandro Martinez. And not only that, the height in our center back positions aren't tall enough. I think this was a terrible decision. It was now time to bring a right back to complete our team and I chose Reese James and we signed him for 100 million. Meanwhile at Barcelona Diego Gonzalez had gone clear. At Man United I really thought I could bring him onto this journey but this season it's looking completely unaffordable. Maybe in the future we'll meet again. Our team is now ready it's time to get started with the season. Yo Edgar how you feeling? We're going to be playing in the Premier League for the first time. We started from the bottom at Salford City and now we're here. You know what? After clashing heads a little bit throughout our journey, I think I'm very excited to be playing here in the Premier League alongside you. Let's do this, man. We, we've got a title to win. First Premier League game itself, the team we've built just works. Go on. Oh, that fake shot has sold everyone. Anthony. Oh, right foot. They, they say he doesn't have a right foot. What a goal. Kunde, gives the ball back. It's to Marcus Rashford. Rashford. Rashford comes back. What a brilliant Come goal. on. Brilliant Marcus goal. Rashford. Let's go. For the first time ever, we were also in the Champions League. This is the pinnacle for any manager. And this was the group we were dealing with. You think we can top the group, Edgar? Oh, I think easily we're going to top the group. RB Leipzig is our biggest threat, but teams like Villarreal and Ajax, they have a couple talents, but they're not good enough. And just like I thought, we absolutely destroyed this group. Actually. Oh, Ruben Neves. That's fine. Ruben Neves. Oh, what a finish in the Champions League. Ruben Neves scores. Come on. Oh, Musiala is good. Musiala is good. Clever pass. Go on, Edgar. Oh, ho, ho. oh good cutback. Masiola. I got to score this. Finish. Oh, oh ho, 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 ho. what a one. finish. What a brilliant goal. That pass was nice, Edgar. I'll give you that. And so with how amazing we were in the Champions League, we managed to top our group. Edgar, you were right. This was easy. I mean, with this superstar team, we were definitely going to get out of the group. And meanwhile, in the Premier League, we're doing incredibly well. We're unbeaten. Could we actually go invincible? And said, while we're in January, we do still have a couple million to spend. Do you think we should sign anybody? I think, dude, our team is brilliant. We're, we're, we're top of the league. We're killing it in the Champions League. Let's keep it as is. Okay, Sid, since we are playing Real Madrid, I think it's a big move that we go to a more defensive formation and maybe have Casemiro next to McTominay because Real Madrid are the best team in the world. I don't think we should be changing our formations like that and being so defensive. Nah, no, dude, that, that's not... That's not the way we should play. I think we approach this game with our attack and, and try to take it from Real Madrid. Bro, he just doesn't listen to me. We're playing against the best team in the world, against the best attackers in the world, and he doesn't want to go defensive. I don't have a good feeling about this. I think we may get knocked out. As soon as this game started, I realized just how good Real Madrid were. Oh, we're getting breaking down here. Here goes Real Madrid on the no. attack. Vinicius, Vinicius. versus the guy, and he puts it away. Uh, where was our defense? Bro, I'm telling you, we should have gone defensive in this game. And after that first goal by Real Madrid, we just couldn't compete with them. I told Sid we should have gone more defensive. What? What just happened there? Why didn't our centre-back clear that away? Bro, you gotta be defending better, Sid. Come on. 
No, no. What is the keeper doing? David De Gea, what was that? It went through him. You should have gone defensive. You should have listened to me. You should have defended better, Edgar. What are you doing? How are you going to blame this on me? I said we should play more defensive. And this is where conceding three goals to Real Madrid. And with that, our Champions League journey ended in complete embarrassment. 9-2. Yo, Edgar, I, I feel maybe I should have listened to you there. This this was this was bad. This was really bad. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I, I told you so. But we still have a Premier League title to win. We're at the end of the season. Two points clear of Spurs. Last Last game, we win and we'll be champions of England. Edgar, we need to keep our differences aside, focus on this and get our first Premier League. Yeah, I guess you're right, Sid. Let's focus on this final game of the season and see what happens next year. This is it. Winning the Premier League would make us definitely one of the best managers in the world. We need this. Oh, Rashford. Rashi. What a run. What pace. What finish. That's Marcus Rashford for you. It's not had the best of seasons, but when it matters, he scores. Anthony. Antini with the cross in into Musiala with a shot and it's the goal to win the Premier League. Jamal Musiala. We may not have had the best of seasons knocking out in the Champions League, but we have surely won the Premier League now. I've won the Premier League. Come on. I won the Premier League. What you mean? We, we just, we just won, won the Premier League, right? right? We're heading into season five of this journey, and I feel like this time I want to stay at Man United. The club has everything for us to go ahead and win the Champions League. And by doing so, I'll become the world's best manager. Yo, Edgar, last season we took an L because I didn't take your advice. This season, I want you to help me out with my team. Edgar, you there? I've just signed for Man City and I'm gonna become the best manager in the world and I'm gonna destroy Sid in the process. I can't believe this. I can't believe Edgar's left us and he's gone to our rivals as well. It's my fault to be honest. I regret it. I probably should have given him a lot more credit and he deserved it as well. He helped me get here and now he's gone. But you know what? I have a dream and that is to win the Champions League so we're gonna do everything possible to make that happen. Before we actually make some signings, Anthony's contract was expiring and I'm trying to get him to renew. But Anthony just simply decided to walk out. I'm, I'm surprised. What's going on? I thought he loved the club. And I've convinced Anthony to join because I doubled his wages and I'm a far better manager than Sid. I cannot believe Edgar has stolen Anthony from us. I've, I've heard that he's paid him literally double. We can't compete with that city of endless money. To compete with Edgar, I decided to sign a player I've coached and a player I've been wanting to sign for a while. Yes, it's the Argentinian Diego Gonzalez. We're being reunited. With Diego Gonzalez in the team, at least our attack was looking good, but I was also feeling we need something more. Rashford's great, but last season... He wasn't inspiring me in the Champions League. And so I bring in another player I've coached previously who helped me at Valencia so much, Evan Ferguson. We're being reunited again. It's so wholesome to have both Ferguson and Gonzalez finally playing together. For my final signing, I think we need a better keeper than De Gea because we saw he got ripped apart against Madrid. I can see why Edgar was speaking so highly of Miguel Moro. I should have listened to him and signed him. But it isn't too late. He's playing at Crystal Palace. Let me try and sign him. I tried to negotiate with Miguel Moro, but but seemingly he wasn't having it and he doesn't believe the wages we're offering are decent. Hold up. It is, is the same thing that happened with Anthony happening here again? <laughs> Sid really tried to sign my boy Miguel Moro. After he disrespected him, no chance Moro was going to join him. But yes, I have brought in Miguel Moro, the first player I have ever signed as a professional manager for 150 million. And I've also paid him 300k a week. Money is everything. No way I missed out on Edgar. So far, he's, he's getting the better of me. But hey, I have a plan. I'm signing the world's best keeper in Thibaut Courtois. It did cost me 75 million. And my first duty as my city manager, I have to replace the weak links in my squad. We seem to have a very weak back line with Trafford and goal and back who are right back so I'm gonna go ahead and replace those players and as well I don't like Kulusevski on that right wing he's good but I don't think he's good enough to send me to become the best manager in the world okay now with these brand new superstar signings I'm surely gonna become the best manager in the world and get my payback on Sid. It was now time to begin our Champions League journey. Oh, we've got Bayern in there, but we need to top our group. I cannot let Edgar win the Champions League before me. Wow, look at Edgar's group. He's got the easiest group of all time. That's the money coming through for City. Our Champions League journey begins and I can't lie, it is a bit weird not having Edgar with me. Oh, we do have Diego Gonzalez with us and my oh my, his time at Barcelona has molded him into a world-class player. Oh, Diego. 
Diego Gonzalez. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a finish from Diego Gonzalez. He's arrived at Old Trafford. Diego Gonzalez once again in the box. Just brilliant. He's become such an amazing player. I feel like a proud father seeing him perform so well because we've brought him up to this point. We still had Bayern in our group, so it was tough and they pipped us to top spot. But hey, we're out of this group and that's what matters. Before we begin the knockouts, I kind of want to make a big change to this team. I really feel like Diego Gonzalez Gonzalez has become the leader of this team, kind of like the Messi of this team, and that's why I want to give him the armband. I just feel doing that, he, he's the kind of leader who leads by example, it works. It's now time for the Champions League knockouts. Last season, this is where we messed up, but this time, we've got Diego Gonzalez and Diego. Evan Ferguson. Diego Gonzalez is going all the way, he's going all the way, all by himself, Diego Gonzalez on the grandest stage of all, showing why he's the best player in the world. The ball to Evan Ferguson in the box, and what? Watch him dominate. Lovely finish. We're through to the quarterfinal. Diego would love to see a goal against PSG. Diego Gonzalez. He does not care who he's facing. Evan Ferguson's got a tough angle to score from, but he's made it look easy. What a strike. While my club reached the Champions League final, Edgar's Man City were looking ruthless. Sid couldn't even top his group, and I'm out here destroying all of my opponents. It's Roger in the bar. Roger. Through ball, it's for Foden, and here goes for Foden, gives it back, it's to Roger, who has a shot, and we score our first goal of the UCL campaign, and this is not gonna stop, because I'm gonna go ahead and destroy all of my opponents, and eventually destroy Sid, and get my payback. Holland, it's Erling Holland here on the ball, Erling Holland with a shot, and we score another goal, this Champions League, and the best manager in the world title is gonna be mine. Just fine, for Foden, for Foden, through ball, it's to Erling Holland. can he have a shot, and he finishes it, it doesn't matter what opponent we have, Roma, Shakhtar, I am coming for every single opponent and I'm going to become the best manager in the world. Sid, watch your back. Tillemans, through ball, into Erling. It's Erling Haaland, 1v1 against the RB Samsung goalkeeper. Erling Haaland has a shot and he finishes it. I'm just way too good, man. I can't believe it's like this. Both myself and Edgar are in the Champions League semi-finals. We could be meeting in the final. Ferguson could score the big moment. He loves a clutch moment. A goal to send us through to the Champions League final. It's Evan Ferguson. Come on. So I've heard Sid has made it to the Champions League final. Looks like I have to win this game easily and destroy him in that final. Tillemans, through ball, it's Erling Haaland, can he score the goal to send us to the final, and yes, he does, we're going to the Champions League final, the world has not been ready for the comeback of Edgar, and the world isn't ready for the downfall of Sid, because I'm taking them down in the Champions League final. And so it all comes down to this, S2G versus Edgar for this trophy. I'm gonna become the world's best manager. The Champions League final was absolutely intense. Both myself and Edgar did not want to be on the losing side. It was super cagey and the game went to penalties. I'm nervous. So much on the line. Evan Ferguson stepping up. Can he put this one in? Go on. Evan Ferguson scores. Come on. Okay, Anthony to take off for the penalty. I'm not gonna miss a single penalty in this game. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the ball and it's come a... on let's go ruben neves it's all on you you need to deliver you need to score come on Alan, to take the penalty to go to the left hand side and i scored it i'm playing these mind games he doesn't know where i'm going sancho we gotta play some of our mind games sancho easy pickings come on Tim, must take a penalty. he's not gonna miss this one either where am i going sid where am i gonna go are you gonna save it oh, and of course you're not gonna save it. i always score reese james to take the crucial penalty Look at Miguel Moro's attitude, man. This man, we can't let him win. Reese James scores his penalty. If I miss this, I will not become the best manager in the world. Phil Foden, please, don't let me down. Go to the left hand side. He puts it away. Let's go. We just need to save this next one. It all comes down to this. Diego Gonzalez captaining the team with the responsibility of a lifetime. Can Diego Gonzalez score this penalty? It's an incredibly pressure moment. He goes for a Panenka. Diego Gonzalez. Come on. I've won the Champions League. And we've managed to beat Edgar. Incredible scenes. Miguel Moro, there's no way you didn't save a single penalty. I've worked so hard. Honestly, bro, no hard feelings. You deserve to be here. And I'm sure in future seasons, you will 
become the world's best manager. But today was my moment. Fair play, Sid. I'll let you enjoy your moment. Go ahead and lift that trophy and establish yourself as the best manager in the world. And Diego Gonzalez lifts the Champions League trophy, making me the world's best manager manager what a journey this has been if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to the channel also subscribe to edgar and click somewhere here to watch more